Okay, so here we are. We're going to learn how to tie the hair's ear nymph. It's one of the flies that was included in the uh, kit packets we sent out to a couple Generation Wild members. The first thing you want to do is wrap a little lead on the hook. Uh, basically, we're going to put it right here at the front of the hook where the basically the head and the chest of the fly would be. And you just kind of want to hold one end, wrap the other with the other hand. So there's maybe eight or nine wraps of thin wire lead on the front. Um, once you get that twisted on like that, we're going to go ahead and take our thread and lock it down. Basically starting behind, between the eye of the hook and the lead itself and then wrap backwards, kind of weaving the thread in and out of those coils of lead. Basically that's going to just lock it down so that it doesn't move through, through the rest of the, the tying process as we tie the rest of this fly. Go ahead and wrap your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. And this is where we're going to tie our tail in. Uh, the tail is basically some hair we take from the face of a rabbit hide. Uh, it's the hair located between the ears and the whiskers of the, of the rabbit. And it's kind of a grizzly looking uh, tail. It's got a lot of fibers to it, uh, black tips. And it looks a lot like the natural bugs that we try and imitate when we're fishing for trout. So we're going to lay that on the hook shank and lock it in with some wraps of thread. Basically the length wants, you want the length to be about the half the length of the, the hook shank. So it's going to look like that. Go ahead and take a bunch of wraps of thread to lock everything down. You might notice I'm using red thread instead of black. Um, the reason I'm doing that is just because it shows up a little bit better on the camera and you can see it on the uh, on the fly as we tie in the materials. The next thing you're going to want to do is tie in some of the tinsel. Now gold is a popular color. Um, a lot of flash to it attracts fish. So we're going to go ahead and lay in this strip of tinsel. It's silver on one side and gold on the other. And I like to tie it silver side up because as I go and wrap it around the fly then the opposite side, which is gold, is going to show up. So now that that's in, we're going to start dubbing the, the abdomen of the fly. Now dubbing is a process where you take small amounts of fur in between your pointer finger and your thumb and you twist it around the thread. Not a large amount, just a small amount. And you twist it so that it tangles itself and wraps itself around the thread. It almost looks like a, a really a uh, grizzled looking rope. And you want to just keep adding on little amounts. And what you're going to do after you twist it on is wrap it right where your thread, right where your tail and your tinsel start and start forming a little body. And you can see as I wrap it that it starts forming layers. It starts forming a little buggy looking body on the back end of this fly. You'll run out and all you need to do is stop wrapping thread and add a little bit more as you, as you, uh, as you need. Like I said, don't use a lot. If you try and put on too much, it just, it just forms gobs and it doesn't stick to the thread. But if you use small amounts and just kind of work and taper the body up over that back end of that lead, just like that. And that's going to be the abdomen of our fly. Now what you want to do, this is where the tinsel comes in. You want to take two or three wraps of tinsel and see how I, as I turned it the gold started showing. Take one wrap, two wraps, and then as you're up by your thread you can stop and use your other hand to kind of lock things down. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off the extra. What this did, this is called a rib. Basically this allows, you can see the gaps between my, my wraps there, this allows some of the fibers to stick out, put some flash, makes the bug look segmented like the natural. The next thing we're going to do is take a snip of turkey uh, feathers from the, the feather that came in the kit and we're going to lay that in right where we stopped our body and kind of anchor it. We want it to be flat so that when we fold it over when we fold it over towards the hook of the eye, it's going to lay flat. That's going to be our wing case. And now more dubbing. 
Uh, this is the part where you can add on a little heavier amounts as you twist. You see my my amount there on my thread is getting a little heavier. This is basically the this is called the the thorax of the fly. This is the chest and the head of the fly. Uh, so it's going to be a little heavier than the abdomen, um, you know, where your stomach would be on a, on a person. So we're gonna we're gonna lay this on thick, and I'm gonna just keep layering on wrap after wrap of dubbing to make it thick and kind of bulbous, make it look like a meaty meaty morsel for a fish that might be in front of us. Give him a give him a tenderloin steak instead of a little a little snack. So I'm gonna wrap on maybe maybe one more round of really heavy dubbing in the front. You can see I'm not spending a lot of time dubbing winding some material on this thread. If you if you're struggling to keep it on the thread then you probably are using too much. Just small amounts, small puffs between your fingers, wrapping it on there. And then once you get that set, you just kind of give it a little bulk. Now as I'm getting down here to the wire and I have a little thread left, I'm going to end my ties right behind the eye, just like that. Now you can see that that, that body is a little thicker than the, than the rest. It's the bug kind of takes on a tapered profile. Now comes the wing case. This is that turkey flap that we tied in earlier. What you're going to do is fold that over the top. Oh, that kind of broke apart there. You're going to fold that over the top, down towards the eye, and use your thread, your other hand, your, your thread, to lock that in. Maybe give it three wraps before you let go, and that way the weight of the bobbin and the weight of the thread locks it in. You'll see that little tag there. You can go ahead and clip that. And then just use a couple reps to lock everything down right behind the eye. Use your whip finish tool or a couple of half hitches with your fingers. One, two, three, four, five. And then snip your thread. And that's your hair's ear nymph.